All right, what's up guys? It is Carly here bringing you another horror hunting video. Um, I have pretty much picked the worst day possible to do this because it's the day, day before Christmas Eve, uh, the night rather, as you can see. Um, I mean, it's more like 5 p.m. I just got off work half an hour ago. It's like 5.30 right now, but um, yeah. So people are out and they're trying to get last minute things. So it's very crowded on the earth. But uh, the reason I'm kind of doing this is because there is a store that I go to quite a bit and un unfortunately is going out of business. And that is the cash and culture. I've mentioned it in many videos before. That's where I get a lot of my, uh, you know, secondhand DVDs and Blu-rays and whatnot. And that is going out of business here soon. Uh, they don't have an exact date, but I've been wanting to just go there uh, sooner than later in case, you know, everything get, kind of gets bought out and all that and all the good stuff is gone. So um, figured I would go there tonight. Um, I think everything is like 30 to 70% off. Most likely it's probably going to be like 30% off or something like that on the actual movies but I figured I would check it out and then um, after that I can go to maybe some other places around in the area if you know things go well and I don't dive because uh, driving in high traffic gives me very bad anxiety but we will see guys I'm gonna go ahead in there it is behind me and uh, we'll see if I can find anything well guys, I did find um, three DVDs in there. Nothing too spectacular. Obviously they are going out of business so they don't have anything new or exciting really. But um, I wanted to get some stuff just because it was, uh, I believe it was 40% off. Um, I don't know, I was like, it would have been like $18 for these DVDs and I got them for like $11, I believe. So, um, it was either 40 or 30%, I'm not good with percents, but, um, I picked up The Cook, uh, which is, um, Anchor Bay film and, uh, it just sounded, sounded cool. I never really heard of this movie before and the plot just seemed like something that I would enjoy. Sounds like it's probably a horror comedy and kind of quirky and might have some grossness to it. So, it sounded like something I would like. Then I grabbed um, I Saw the Devil. Um, I've heard absolutely great things about this movie. It's like over two hours, which you guys know I hate long, long ass movies, but um, JP and some other people have always said that it's a very, very solid film. So I figured I would pick it up. This is one of those ones I feel like I would rather have on Blu-ray maybe, but um, you know, it's whatever. The, the Blu-ray selection they had there wasn't the best. It never really is. Um, it's always pretty much generic stuff. So I didn't really bother with that. But, um, and then lastly, we have Cry Wolf. Um, this is a movie that I always kind of wanted to check out. I remember like when it came out and all that and um, it seemed interesting. Uh, the cover and just title always kind of interested me so I um, figured I would pick it up. This one was only four dollars originally to begin with so uh, it was pretty cheap. Um, but yeah that place is supposed to close like in the middle of January the kid in there said so um, I'll probably try to go back again even though you know there's not really much else that I would really want. Um, there's a few things I could pick up just for a the sake of it being cheap, but they don't have anything obscure or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I grabbed those and now I think I'm going to go over to, um, the hidden treasures or city mission, whatever you want to call it. That is, um, you know, in the area now it's a newer store. I went there last time and it, it's right down the road. So I figured I would check that out. Uh, they didn't really have anything last time that interested me, but we'll, we'll see. There's also a Dollar Tree right next to it, which um, people keep finding these freaking Dollar Tree finds that I've had zero luck with so far, but we'll see if I can find anything. And then, um, there is a few other stores around here. If I have the time or the patience, I'll go ahead and check those out. If not, we'll just see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go in these places. Hopefully I find some stuff and I'll see you next time or then I guess. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, guys, I do apologize for the gross looking window. Um, it's been snowing here a lot, so it's just kind of the dirty aftermath of snow that I have not gotten off the window yet, and I probably won't because, well, it's Pennsylvania, and it's going to keep on snowing anyway, so who cares? Um, but anyway, there is a city mission over there, as I said, and then there's a Dollar Tree pretty much right next to it. There's also an Ollie's here. I don't really know if I'm going to go in there because I've never really had much luck in there there's not really much that ever interests me but i might check it out if i have the chance um i might go to goodwill i'm not too sure uh no you know like i said that goodwill pretty much has nothing anymore and oh this car is gonna back up right here oh okay but um yeah i'm just gonna go in there and we will see what we can find guys so see you then 
Well guys, those stores were pretty much a bust. Um, the City Mission, they didn't really have anything once again. They do have like a decent amount of VHS tapes and DVDs, but nothing I really wanted. They had like Oculus on DVD, which I already own that on Blu-ray, and um, Alien vs. Predator, which I just don't really want that. Um, they had Gothica on DVD, which I consider getting because I've always kind of liked that movie, but um, I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling it. I didn't want to buy something just for the sake of buying something, if you know what I mean. Um, Dollar Tree was uh, super crowded. It's so funny how like around the holidays, it doesn't matter what store it is. It could be the most irrelevant store, but it's still going to be crowded with people buying God knows what. So that place was really crowded and a disaster. It's not the nicest Dollar Tree either. It's really old. Um, and they did have a movie section, but it's the same old bull crap that I found at the other Dollar Trees I went to where it's just Assassin's Creed, whatever, um, a million copies of that. And this other one, I think it's called like the big take or something like that. Uh, it's not, it's a different title than that, I believe, but, uh, they just have a million copies of the same stuff. I don't know where these people are getting their Dollar Tree hauls because I cannot find them anywhere around my area. I guess my area just sucks. Um, did run in Ollie's as well and they really didn't have anything interesting either. The only thing they really had horror-wise was an Alfred Hitchcock uh, DVD set, but the movies on it were, you know, not his really popular ones or anything like that and um, I just wasn't too interested. I didn't really feel like waiting in line just to buy one thing like that so uh you know I am sorry that I am being kind of picky it's just I don't want to buy stuff like crap just for the sake of buying crap and doing it for the video um one day I will end up doing that when I just have more money to blow but right now you know it's around the holidays and um I'd rather just be a little more frugal and uh the point of this video was really to go to the cash and culture so uh did that already, did get stuff there, and that's good. Um, I do think I'm gonna go stop at Goodwill though, and uh, perhaps the big lots right next to it, just for the heck of it, and then that's probably all I'll have time for for this video, to be honest, guys, so hopefully I can maybe find some stuff in there to make it more interesting, but if not, I'll have to try again, do a different video, and go to more uh, areas where I know I usually can find stuff because the areas around my hometown I, hometown I just cannot ever get lucky really nowadays I used to but not so much anymore so um we're gonna go check those places out and I'll see you then all right so Goodwill doesn't have their lights on for some reason but they are open um there are definitely people in there so I am going to go in there and then right over here parked in a bad spot but you can see there is a big lot back there and, um, you know, connected to the Goodwill. So I'll probably go ahead and go in both. So i um, going to go in Goodwill, see if I can find anything, and then if not, trail over to Big Lots. Big Lots did have some stuff I wanted a few weeks ago and uh, just didn't feel like buying it then. So hopefully they might still have that stuff and I might go ahead and pick it up. So we shall see. All right, guys, so uh, no luck in Goodwill as I expected. They really didn't even have any DVDs, honestly. I don't know what's going on with that, but, um, you know, kind of pointless to even go in there nowadays, but whatever, I've said that many times before. But I did go to Big Lots, and I did get rather lucky in there, um, in my opinion, anyway. I got um, Cult of Chucky here on DVD. It was only three bucks. Um, you know, it's another movie that it would preferably be on Blu-ray, but I do have, uh, honestly, most of the Child's Play movies I do have on DVD. I'm not one of those people who's like, oh my god, I have to have everything on the same formats. Um, I pretty much have everything spread throughout the collection, so it doesn't really phase me. And Cult of Chucky, honestly, I wasn't too crazy about this film to begin with. I only gave it one watch uh, back when it came out so uh, I have been curious to recheck it out because I know some people like it some people don't I was kind of in the middle on it so I do want to give this one a rewatch and um, obviously I need it for the collection um, next up we have uh, Mask Maker this is a movie I've always been curious about I've always heard it kind of compared to like TCM just kind of like a ripoff of that type of movie and um, I think it's uh, you know decent at least um at least i think i've heard that uh I, i've just, either way i've always been intrigued and this one was only 188 a big lot so um not really missing out on any money there 
Then next up we have Case 39 for $3 um, on Blu-ray. I've always enjoyed this movie. Uh, it's kind of, it came out I think like the year after Orphan or the same year. It was around the same time period. They're, I always thought they are kind of similar films and um, I do enjoy this movie. I thought it was uh, pretty creepy and pretty good when I first saw it and I used to watch it quite a bit uh, back in the time when it did come out uh, what year it looks like it came out in 2010 so um yeah uh back then I did rewatch this one quite a bit and I didn't own it so I figured I would go ahead and pick it up and it's nice to have it on blu-ray as well and then lastly guys we have Ouija Ouija whatever um I believe this movie is maybe a piece of crap I feel like I've heard people say that I think the sequel I think it's one of those cases where the sequel was actually better than the first one but um and it, it was five dollars so it's like it was more of the expensive blu-rays unfortunately but figured I would pick it up I've always been curious on it it's not one that I had seen when it came out so and I had heard pretty much negative stuff on it but I was still curious on it and if I you know watch it I can at least have a reason to watch the sequel that like I said has more positive reviews so um why not go ahead and grab it uh there were some other movies in there such as uh Disturbia and and um, a few of the paranormal activity movies, that's kind of what I was going to get, actually, the paranormal films, because I don't own any of them, surprisingly, not a single one, uh, but they didn't have part one, all they had, I think, was, like, part two, three, and four, and it was on DVD, and, um, I kind of just thought, like, well, if they don't have part one, I don't really feel like picking up the sequels, I would rather start with part one, even though I have seen most of them before, um, I don't know, just kind of a weird thing. I'd rather get like a plethora of movies and just get all the paranormal activity films and call it a day. So that is uh, what I went with and uh, that's probably going to do it for this video. Sorry guys, once again, I didn't find too many things and I didn't go to a huge variety of places like I would like to. I actually got a nice uh, new camera for Christmas and I plan on utilizing that in these types of videos. I think it would be better for just storage sake and quality purposes even though the camera quality is honestly pretty decent for what it is um but yeah once i figure out editing and all that i do want to start using that new camera this was kind of an impromptu video so um didn't want to go all out like i said i came from work so uh, it is pretty laid out now anyway and i didn't really have much time to hit up a lot of places besides the ones around here so um yeah in the future of these videos i will be uh exploring new territories and uh whatnot to you know hopefully find more exciting things but that is what I got for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this either way. And um, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Um, didn't do a weekly dose of horror video this week uh, because I pretty much ran out of time to watch movies. I've been trying to watch 2019 movies, but probably in the new year is when you'll be seeing that uh, series kick off again and uh, be more consistent. But yeah, guys, thank you again for watching this. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.